talk about crafting your environment to help you empower your money mindset. Um, I talk a lot about how money mindset and clutter and your productivity all go hand in hand. And so often I find that my clients don't really understand what money has to do with all the other things that are going on for them. Um, and so I find this framework to be really interesting in terms of its helpfulness in um, keeping you oriented of where you are with your money goals and tracking perhaps in your business or your personal life where your money is going um, and being able to really be secure and confident in your many decisions. And so the environment can empower your mindset and using um, mindset can help you identify the best way to set up that environment. So it empowers your relationship with money. And especially if you use it through the lens of the sacred money archetypes, which is one of the modalities that I use um, with my clients, it provides a more natural approach uh, to your relationship with money, which in turn can be reflected in your physical environment. So Transforming the, the mindset into the physical, it's really just about how am I going to deal with the fear, the avoidance, and the lack of confidence around money um, and make it as easy as possible to keep on top of those things, right? So it's setting up a place to keep the information about your accounts and about your bills and where to keep your bills and know where you keep the list of your money goals. Um, it, it's, it shouldn't be an afterthought setting yourself up for success for money should be really easy. I just have a simple folder called money tracking. Sorry, that was pretty loud. <laughs> um, really it's more crap because I like to make fun of money a little bit, but it's tracking and it just has, you know, the list of, of my income and, and expenses and things where I can keep track of what's been paid every month. Um, I do it. Um, on paper, but I also have it online uh, so I can share it with my uh, bookkeeper and my assistant uh, when necessary. Um, but it can be that simple. It's just a piece of paper in a folder that's labeled with your thoughts about money for the month. Um, but it can go deeper. You know, if you're one of those people that really avoids, it can provide a framework for how you're going to learn more about money. Are you going to actually structure some time to do the money work? Um, or are you going to, you know, take a workshop or read a book about it? What forms and, and formats are the courses you're taking about money or your financial planner um, asking you to complete or fill out? And can you use that as the framework? Um, or do you want to make something that's really in tune with your sacred money archetype? That's an option as well. Maybe you keep all your bills and, and, account information in a gold box if you are someone that that resonates more with that <laughs> um, than a folder that says more crap like me. Um, so it, bottom line is when you empower yourself about money and you make it simple, you are much more likely to actually attain your money goals and be able to assign your dollars a job of paying which bills or going towards which goal or endeavor that you're interested in. Um, and because what we pay attention to grows, you should pay attention to your money, right? Even when you don't have it, if you pay attention to the fact that you need more, it's going to start coming. Um, so really, I just like thinking of my sacred money archetypes and my physical space as that framework for keeping on top of all of my money stuff. It's a process for dealing with it. Stop avoiding, gain some confidence, keep oriented. When you know where you're at with your money, you know where to go next. Um, and your archetype can help you figure out the best way to do what's next. So it's all connected. If you're at all interested in finding out more, reach out. Um, we can do Sacred Money Archetypes reading. You can sign up for my um, One Minute Mail Solution Kit, which has some more stuff about setting up the physical space. Um, and it has a couple offers about Sacred Money Archetypes as well. So let me know what you think about 
uh, setting up a space to help you deal with your money in a more confident and easy manner. And I will see you next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.